do you have like a coach or a mentor that you yeah. go to? I mean, you got definitely, you know, coaches or even just, you know, kind of people over the years or, um, you know, like my dad, you know, one of my favorite things he told me um, as a kid growing up was, like, hey, don't, you know, don't brag or anything. He's like, and he told me if you're, if you're good, you can tell people. But if you're great, they'll tell you. We're live, cuzzo. Right. Hit him with the intro. We are back. Welcome back to the Electives Podcast. This will be episode 12. Ah, uh, I'm losing forget. track. I'm starting man, to lose I track. I know, I know, I know. But don't that's put a, a number thing, on right? it. That means we're putting out a lot of content. Yeah, don't so put a number on it. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. All right, but we're back here at the Aurora Country Club. Um, we're here with our friend Bryce Emery. We want to thank him and everybody here at the Aurora Country Club for allowing us to shoot here. Um, but yeah, man. So let's get into it. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Thanks for having us at the Country Club. Yeah, thanks so, for having me. So uh, Bryce here is uh, our first pro athlete. Loose, pro, loosely, loose loose. <laughs> <laughs> pro golfer. So tell us a little bit about that, man. Uh, I mean, I've been playing golf, you know, my whole life pretty much. Grew up out here. Uh huh. Um, spent. You know, I've been here my whole life, really, actually, uh, terrorizing the staff as a young <laughs> kid. And, yeah. Uh, I'm surprised they, they keep letting me back. But Yeah. What's your, what's your earliest memory playing here? I played a father-son tournament with my dad, I think, when I was two or three. Oh, like that's pretty hole. cool. Yeah. Two or three? Yeah. You were like my height back then. Just about, maybe. <laughs> Almost. I think he was a little taller. He was a little taller. Maybe a little taller. I got there like taller. four or five. Right. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, that, I mean, one hole. We got the, uh, I got the pictures somewhere. Uh, typical '90s swag outfit. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, that was that's the earliest, and then you know, just you know, spending every day in the summer over here. Cool. You know, it was it was a blast. So you've been playing golf for a long time, then. Yeah. Two or three. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, so 30, what? Thirty-two this year, uh, this month. So. I mean, think in some, year I, I gotta figure it out at some point, right? Yeah, this long. I mean, that's that. Yeah, that's a long time. <laughs> so what was what was uh, practice like? Uh, as a kid, uh, I was probably more just like you know begging my parents, say you know drop me off because I grew up down the streets. Like, so they would drop me off, and I would just keep myself entertained for most of the day. Um, you know, until they came back and picked me up at four or five, or sun going down, and. Or, you know, maybe someone on the staff called and said, hey, <laughs> time to pick up this kid. <laughs> he's he's, asking, he's asking us too many questions inside the pro <laughs> shop. He's got to go. But, uh, uh, but I mean, now it's, you know, it kind of – now I know, you know, what I need to work on, what I'm trying to improve. So right. it's just kind of, um, you know, whatever, whatever I'm trying to – you know, each day kind of has a goal, right? It's like I'm going to mm-hmm. – I'm going to work on this for a couple hours. Mm-hmm. You know, I like playing more than I like practicing, you know, because I can sit there, hit the practice shot same way all day. So it's like I got to get out on the course. You know, that's where the, you know, where it's played. So, right, right, right. Um, but, uh, so are you, are you practicing like when you, when you, uh, get out on the course instead of just working on your sw- swing, are you kind of practicing like a, almost like a scrimmage game? Yeah, you know, kind like of basketball be, wood, uh, scrimmaging um, against yourself. Yeah, like when I'm home, uh, you know, I'm not out playing events or you know on a stretch where I'm traveling a lot. If I'm back here, I'll be, you know, I might know, you know, hey, this course coming up next week, I got to hit, you know, this club a lot or you know this kind of shot. So I mean, mm-hmm. I'll come out here and play. I'll just try and hit, you know, I'll hit that shot as much as I can just to get comfortable with it. Right, right, right. Or you know, hey, you know, the greens gonna be really fast, so I gotta work on you know putting and. Uh, you know, so just kind of, you're always trying to prove something. Right, you know? right, right. So, just sharpening each little yeah. little tool. Well, at what age did you know you wanted to go pro? Or was uh, it kind of? I think pretty early on. You know, yeah. Probably out of being more naive about what it actually is. Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah I'm going to be a pro golfer. You know, yeah. You know, 10, 11 years old. Right. Telling my dad and, or my parents, and they're like, yeah, hey, sure. Whatever. Right, 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 right. Do what you want to do. Right. And uh, they're just supporting a young man's dream. Yeah, they're like point. they're not gonna tell their kid no. <laughs> right. Like, hey, right, you wanna right. do that, go for it. Yeah. You know, my dad I remember when I and when I turned pro after college, you know, talking to my dad about it, he's he told me he's like, Hey, you know, you work every day of the rest of your life. 
you know, it doesn't matter if you take a couple years or something and try this out. And now it's been, you know, 10 years as a, as a pro, but, um, yeah, pretty early on, I think I wanted, you know, I knew I wanted to do it. Mm-hmm. Just had no idea what was actually. What it all was going to entail. Yeah, and how hard it was going to be. Yeah. Know. But oh, it's yeah. been fun. Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. Got to travel that's a lot. pretty cool, man. Yeah, I think that's the, uh, the, the, the thing with going pro when we're all kids is we think it's just. Easy. Yeah, yeah. it's just yeah. easy. Like, you turn pro, man, they, it's like, no, man, you got to put in work every day. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, so that you don't fall off the. <coughs> you know fall off and then now you're back with everybody else right yeah i mean it's just you know a lot of you know discipline and you know and golf's a weird one too where it's like you don't have to you don't have to go to alabama you know for football you know it's like you don't right, right you don't right, have to right. go to the big time school to do it like if you you know you can go out and play well enough you know you can get out there i mean that's right. that's what it's a great game like i know guys that were division one all americans that you know gave up and i know guys that were you know played at small division three schools that are Mm -hmm. out there kicking ass too so it's just this great this great game where you know you get better each year and go out and shoot a number you're in nice so what's the what would you say is the difference between somebody who makes it past high school to go to college and then someone who makes it past college to turn pro uh I mean, that's I mean, with the way the the game of golf has evolved the last probably ten years, it's you know distance has become a big thing where you know everyone's hitting it far. Uh, and they're actually USGA announced a couple of weeks ago that they they want to try to roll things back, which I think is a mistake. But hmm. um, so I think just like every other sport, I think a lot of it is speed. You know, is the big step. You know, basketball. The difference between D3, D2, D1, besides size, is speed. You know, you got to be football. It's all, you know, all the sports, I think, still come down to, you know, speed. And golf, it's how fast can you swing the club and how far can you hit it and still hitting it, you know, straight or somewhat straight. And then, Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, it's like I play with my dad and he'll be like, you know, why am I not hitting it far enough? (laughs) <laughs> uh, I don't know, you know how much time do we have right <laughs> right how much time do we have what about from a mentality port uh, perspective um well you gotta you know the your number one supporter and believer has got to be yourself you know you mm-hmm. have to have that like hey I you know sometimes it, it's well, fake it till you make it you know almost like hey I'm, I'm gonna do this yeah, right. you, you know no matter what people say like you know, you're not good enough it's like right. I, I don't care I'm Right, I'm yeah. gonna do it, yeah. you know, and so you have to have that self confidence, and, and especially golf is a very, you know, because it's it's just you, right. so it's like, you, you, you know, you got to be cocky, um, yeah. a little, you know, and have that yeah. self belief to like gotta have that oh, swag, yeah. yeah it's like uh, and so you like know, you no tap into your me. ego a little bit, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, it makes sense, man. Who, now, who's your favorite golfer? Uh, I mean, I was a big, you know, I was big Tiger guy. He's gotcha. always been my guy. Um, and I grew up, you know, he, him winning his first Masters in 97. Mm-hmm. Um, this is Masters week, too, best mm-hmm. time of the year. Mm-hmm. But uh, that I was remember as a kid watching that with my dad. Mm-hmm. And I was yo- old enough to, re- to remember it. Right. And, like, too young to kind of realize, like, the significance the of it. The magnitude of it. Yeah, yeah, like how just dominating. And, you know, and then truly the that was the beginning of the new era of, of of the golf right athlete. you know he right. made golf um athletic right out right you know before it was you know kind of get out and no one not that many people working out right get out you know roll out of the car hit a couple of balls and, and go play and now i mean i'll be at tournaments and guys are working out hour and a half in the morning you know sweating their face yeah off. yeah and i'm like you know this game has changed yeah it's evolved yeah. um but i think it needed to true you know People True. always looked at golfers as drive around in a cart, drink a lemonade, and <laughs> right, you know, right, a couple right, beers right. or something. And, right. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. But out of shape. You yeah, know, yeah. Just def- come up, take yeah. a couple swings. Anybody can do this. I go out and swing a club at a ball. That's not <laughs> right. right, right, it's not right, that, right. It can't right. be that hard. Right, 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 um, right. But what what advice would you give like to a, a young a, a young person that let's say wanted to uh, go down this route, right, of becoming a professional golfer? What would you tell them that they should work on when they're younger? Uh Man, I mean, 
I think like, you can go back to like Tiger. I mean, his dad kind of, you know, he grew up playing the golf kind of backwards. Start around the green and work your way back to the tee. So, mm. you know, that's how he developed his, you know, he's one of the best putters and one of the best short game right. of all time. Now, is it normally taught the other way? Yeah, I mean, most people think, oh, I, I got to hit the driver. But uh-huh. It's like, you know, you got to get the ball in the hole. Got oh, yeah. You know, you can hit all it, right. you know, 300 yards to the left, another 100 yards back to the right. Mm-hmm. But you got to make that putt on the green. Mm-hmm. And so I would say, you know, get a – the better touch you kind of develop around the greens. Right, right, you right. You know, right. the better. And then, uh, like I said, just kind of, you know, developing that self-belief. Like I'm going to – the mindset, uh, I'm yeah. I'm going to do this. The mentality, you know? yeah. And it's kind of like the same thing with, like, basketball, too. Like, you start off doing layups. You mm-hmm. don't start off jacking Steph Curry threes yeah. from half court. Yeah, from the logo. Know? I mean, Even though that's what it is now. Yeah. 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 By is, the way, did you guys see that game yesterday? LSU and uh, and Iowa? I, yeah. yeah, I was watching. That saw was a little bit of it actually here. Um, okay. You know, we played and we were watching, like, the first half here. And, um, you know, it was I mean, you got to, like, I saw the one tweet about Caitlin Clark, uh, I think the last time. It's like, if you're playing her on Sunday, you got to start guarding her Saturday. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. And She's the truth. She is. She's the truth. She man. is. You talk about a pure hooper. Man, She's she's got it, man. She's got it. Yeah. It's, I mean, that was, it was, and I know LSU kind of ran away with it at the end, but. Yeah. I mean, they just had one too many weapons. You yeah. Know, one too many weapons. I think, I, I mean, I think they said that was, I saw something today on Twitter about it. It was like. That was had like a forty three percent bigger audience than the NBA All Star game this year. Yeah. Oh yeah. So. No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the NBA All Star game is whack now, man. It's mm. it's just it's not the same no, what no. it used to be. No. I miss the I miss them rocking their their own jerseys. Oh yeah. And yeah. Like actually playing like it was like a real game. Yep. Yeah. Now it's just it's all show shooting and half court yeah, shots. Yeah. And, well, I mean it's load yeah. management form, right? You got that. All True. That, yeah. All yeah. Spe- speaking of that, because uh-huh. load because you and I talk about that because uh-huh. my daughter hoops, mm-hmm. and uh, I was just telling them, yeah, I told him, I don't know if it was like a week ago or a couple yeah. weeks ago, yeah. But my daughter's gonna end her season, complete season from November to June, and she's gonna have played like seventy games. <laughs> All right. So this is the first year that, you know, we really like I really kind of analyzed her season. They yeah. like started to try to reevaluate stuff because of load management. Mm-hmm. They're saying that load management is coming from these kids playing at a young age, eighty plus games. Right. I mean, my daughter's eleven, mm-hmm. and she's gonna play almost as many games, if not more, than LeBron or Anthony Davis did this year. Definitely more than Anthony Davis. Definitely more than <laughs> Anthony Davis. <laughs> Sorry, Anthony Davis. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. This yeah, is uh, it's just it's all jokes. It's all, all jokes. jokes yeah. But what like what do you what do you think about that? Because you hoop too. You used yeah. to hoop back in the day, and you play golf. So I don't know if it's the same as golf, like load management. I don't know if it it beats up on your knees or beats mm-hmm. up on a kid's hips. But mm-hmm. what do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I was I grew up. You know, we're all same age. It's like as a kid, you grew up playing every sport. You know, I played right. baseball and golf in the summer basketball in the winter right um played a little <laughs> soccer on the travel team a little bit in like fifth and sixth grade then i i realized pretty quickly that that's not my sport <laughs> <laughs> don't uh, got fast enough no, feet. Yeah, it was not that was uh, that was the first part i'm like yeah you know what i'm i'm this bryce is, was like where's my golf cart yeah, at? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, i'll meet yeah. you down here i go this is a lot of running for, yeah i'm like hey you know, let did me, you try goalie I wanted to, but yeah. like we had a good goalie on the team, ah, so they okay. I'm like, well, I can't take his spot. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, I mean, yeah, I did everything. You know, it's like now, you know, you, they, you see these reports where guys are like, uh, where they're talking about, you know, all the, if I just put this kid in this sport, this is what he wants to play. He's just gonna do this. He's like, well, you actually like hurt their development as an athlete. Like, you got to learn coordination True. playing all these sports. True. Yeah. And I think each of those sports. Um, kind of helped me develop, and it, just, and it helped me learn too. I'm like, oh yeah, golf is is for me, and that was always a sport I knew as a kid. Um, and basketball was the one that I played the longest next to golf through mm-hmm. high, you know, into high school. Mm-hmm. Um, and I loved playing basketball, and um, it was it was a nice break in the winter time because then, you know, can't live up here. You can't play golf in the winter. Um, but you know, by the time basketball season ended, I was itching to get back on the golf course. Mm-hmm. And you know, I I played I haven't touched basketball in probably five years. My 
uh, I guess I used to love playing. It was great exercise. Mm-hmm. Um, but then I, I kind of got to a point where, like, you know, I'd jump the wrong way or something and shred an ACL or – yeah, sure, that'll like, do what, it. What am I doing here? That'll yeah. do it. The risk isn't worth the. So, yeah. do you think it's too much for kids at an early age to be playing this much golf or whatever the sport may be? Uh, or do you like kind of like the transition from multi-sport athlete, youth athletes to one sport dom- dominant? Yeah, I mean, I think like if it was kind of you know eighty games or competitions spread out over a couple of sports through over the year, I think it'd be. All right. Um, I mean, how old's your daughter? Mine's 11. 11? Yeah. But there's third graders playing, like boys. More so yeah. boys. Oh, yeah. Because girls don't really start till they're later because yeah. there's not enough teams. But boys are starting, like, at third grade playing all year round. Yeah, and, and they're uh, traveling, too. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I, I mean, I feel bad for the parents. That we got to travel 80 games. You know, I think they love that. I, yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah. They I do. think the, the parents, parents should do it. some yeah. load management for themselves. Yeah. That's a lot of that's a lot of traveling. <laughs> no, it is. It is. It is. But I, I mean, I, the 80 games might be a lot throughout. I mean, in a, if it's spread out from you know January through December, you know, but uh, you know, and like if you throw 80 games like a four month or five month stretch for kids. It might be tough, but you know, then they're they're also young. They can, you know, they can true, bounce. They can, they can, their bodies can handle. Yeah, they're running. Yeah. A bit. You know, That's kids true. are playing two games a day, and they're going running around the, in the backyard with their friends afterwards. Yeah, right. like, yeah, That's, That's true. true. And like something I told him, like when he brought that to my attention, I said, "You just want to make sure that she she still loves the yeah. game more than anything, right? Because mm-hmm. even if you're tired or you're exhausted, if you love the game, you'll always come back to it. True. You know. And was there ever like a moment where you fell out of love with golf, maybe? Uh yeah, I may not I wouldn't say fall out of love. I mean I got kind of burnt out. Yeah. Um I think probably like 2016. Mm. I remember um I was working a lot at the golf course and I was trying to play a lot and it just was you know, I you know be at the course 6 7 hours a day and then try to go home and practice afterwards. I'm like, man, I don't want Right. And then I remember that summer I played a tournament and my dad was kidding for me. And I remember I think I hit it in the water in the last hole. And I thought, I go, that's it. I've seen the last shot I've hit in the tournament. Done. Wow. Dang. And I took a uh, a couple of weeks off after that. You know, and just kind of uh, – I, I, I was kind of talked to some people about maybe getting a job, too. I was like, you know, hey, you know, you've always said if I, I could come work for you. Right. To get, you know, and – after probably a couple of weeks or a month, kind of, you know, you bottom out a little bit. Yeah. And then you kind of like reset. Nah, I don't want to give this up. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. A couple of weeks. You know, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it just, you know, then I got to, you know, kind of, you pull yourself out of that funk and, you know, you get back to it. But, yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. My daughter just took two weeks off. I made her take yeah. two weeks after yeah. the last, her last uh, school season game. And then she played yesterday and she was a little rusty. And, I, you know, I was uh, messing with her about it. And she's like, well, I missed my old schedule. I wanted basketball <laughs> on Monday. I wanted a game see on this you, day. See what you created? Yeah. yeah. So I was yeah. like, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. the break, you know. break made it even worse. <laughs> but yeah. she needed it, though. True. True. She just did nothing. Like, I told her yeah. do nothing. Yeah. Don't just even be a look kid. at the basketball. Yeah, just yeah. be a kid. I think there's a lot of benefit to that, too. I mean, that's what, you know, I get back from, you know, like I was just in Florida for six weeks playing and, came up from that at the beginning of March and I'm like luckily the weather was still bad here I'm like I kind of have to sit down and do nothing you know and uh get my money's worth out of out of my rent you know what if I'm not there you know, I, just <laughs> yeah. want, I just want to sit on my couch and, <laughs> yeah. you know my friends will be like hey let's go do this I'm like no I'm, yeah. I need to I want to just sit here I've been on you know living out of hotels and yeah um, no, yeah. Living, yeah but I mean I think you know I remember as a kid my dad you know kind of bringing me to the course mm-hmm. you know um well hey we're going like we're going to the club i'm like mm. all right fine you know and then i remember there was kind of the switch i'm like hey you know who's you know which one of you guys is dropping me off at the course right right you know? right, right um so i think like you said like make sure they're still enjoying it uh because you can only you know the more especially with kids the more you try and force them and tell them to do something yeah they're doing the opposite yeah yeah um, yeah yep. and so I think if you just let them, you know, give them some guidance and kind of let them fall in love with game, the game on their own. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I get parents sometimes ask me like, Hey, my kid's getting into golf. What do I'm like, let them go hit drivers at the range and or something. Just, you know, 
fall in love with hitting the ball and you know right first and then okay right. now we can kind of start to okay now go work on this you right know, just let them right. get out there hit it and chase it right you yeah know? no yeah, and, yeah, yeah. I agree let with them that. fall in love with it yeah. right yeah because i coach kids and some of their parents ask like you know what program should they go to mm-hmm. and i was like well it all depends you know because you got to pay for it but it, the kids need to put in the work at home true yeah. You know, if they ain't, if they ain't dribbling the ball at home and True. they're only doing it two days a week, True. you're not going to get as much as you think you're going to get yeah. for your money. Yeah, because there's a kid at home who's just dribbling. Yeah, there, there's who's not even going to nope. camps or anything. And then when he shows up on game day, he's balling. He's balling because he he's just yeah. watching TV. You know? And, yeah. like, we used to – I don't know if you used to do it, but I used to do it. You watch TV, you watch the game, it's halftime, and you go uh, go to, like, a little door moves. hoop. Yeah, 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 you go practice the moves. <laughs> you, you know, yeah. that's what I would – that was, like, our training yeah. back then. No, yeah, was. and that's how – I mean, like I said, that was always that's I always did that with golf, and like I said, basketball is probably the last sport that I still kind of did that with. But you know, I could tell uh, in high school, you know, even though you know I played varsity and started, and it's like you knew, okay, well, you know, this guy is taking, you know, he's going somewhere. He's, you know, he puts in the work. I played basketball when golf season ended in October, and you know, through you know. March or whatever the first game of regionals was because uh, we didn't make it too far past that. <laughs> um, but uh, bas- in a weird way, basketball came always came pretty easy to me. Like you know, I wouldn't touch a basketball. Yeah. You know, and uh, I was a decent shooter. And it came like I'm like, man, if I, you know, if I get to practice at this, I, I don't, I didn't have the speed. You know, it goes back to what I said. I didn't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I remember in college asking uh, somebody, I was like, hey, you know, hey, could I? I went to NIU. I was like, can I play on this team? He's like, what position would you play? I'm like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm six five. I can shoot, you know, maybe like a two or a three. He's like, can you guard a two or a three? <laughs> yeah, that's the <laughs> that's like, the question. Can you play I was D? Like, yeah, you know, probably. You know, might score fifteen. I'm gonna give up forty. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah your plus play. minus no, is horrible. Yeah, <laughs> you know, so. It, oh, that's funny. Hey, man, but but that that you got to know your strengths, right? You got to know your strengths. <laughs> Yeah. You got to know your weaknesses. Yeah, like I said, so. I, f- I figured out soccer was a weakness pretty early on, and you know, by the time I got to senior year of high school of basketball, I'm like, yeah, this is this, this is, is the end. This for is me it. Here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it was it was fun. I loved playing it. Yeah. Know. So so Malcolm likes to talk a lot about uh, balance, mm-hmm. and you're kind of like the perfect guy to ask ask about this because you're a pro athlete, and that's very demanding. Mm-hmm. You know, because you got to practice. It's it's all on you. It's not like you got me and Malcolm to help you or something if, if you're short on a putt or something, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So how do you balance being a pro athlete, friends, family, and maybe any other hobbies or something you want to do? How do you balance that? Uh, I mean, it's tough, you know, especially, you know, golf is, is definitely kind of, you know, all year round uh, at, at this level. Um, I mean, I've missed, you know, family members' weddings over the years, um, and I got – uh, one of my you know best friends growing up, their wedding's coming up here in a couple of weeks, and I we just a big group of us were out uh, this past weekend asking you know hey you gonna make it? I'm like I go I'm gonna know in a couple of weeks. I was like that's like right around the time I got to go up to uh, Canada for you know three four weeks, and I'm like that might be when I'm leaving, and so you know you feel bad, but um, you know it's gotta you know I just know it's like hey this is what I'm trying to do. Right. It's not personal. I'm not like going like hey all your weddings this day i'm out you know right Um, (laughs) catch no no flight oh yeah Yeah, yeah. that's the day i'm actually flying out no but uh it's just you know i like i've always tried to keep them separate you know when i'm on the golf course it's business time i'm working you know stay focused on what i'm trying to do and then as soon as i put the clubs back in the car and i'm getting ready to pull out you know i'm done shut it off you know and i you know uh go out to you know dinner with friends or you know whatever it is stop by my parents you know, it's like you know, let's talk about something else you mm-hmm. know um, do, do, do your friends and your family do they want to talk golf with you or no do they understand that like you know when you're not on the golf course that you just want to be bryce like uh you wanna be yeah i mean i mean definitely my parents probably you know because i got to tell them hey yeah i gotta go here you know right, um, right, right, right sometimes they're like you know what happened last week in that event and it's like well i didn't play well um, right um but my friends you know they they're you know it's always nice that i know that they're interested you right know, they're they're talking to me they want to know like hey what what do you got coming up and you know right. that you need that support for sure um but you know golf is i always felt like golf is such kind of a serious sport 
Um, it's the only sport I've ever played where, like, I've missed, you know, game-winning free throws in high school basketball or, you know, but, like, I, I have a bad round of golf. Sometimes you leave, like, it makes you question who you are as a person, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would, and it's yeah. a game. Yeah. You know, it's like, you leave, you know, you play bad on the golf course, you leave home, you leave the course, you're like, you know, God, you know, I, who am I? I'm, right. But, uh you know that's where you need the friends and family to kind of keep you right keep you keep humble you grounded keep you grounded yeah, for um sure. you know my buddies if they ask me what's going on i'll tell them right but a lot of times i'm you know i don't get to see them much I'm like i'm more interested what do you what do you got going on you know, right. what's going on with you but right you know, how's, how's your work going right um you know so just trying to catch up with them and you know like i said stay grounded right you know, this right, right. so much of my life in this game is is so serious so when i'm off the course i try to you know, I've told I've told friends like you know you come see me at the tournaments. It's, it's a different person. True. You know. Oh, no, true. And you kind of have to have that because like that's something that like you know we talk about balance or we talk about like ego. We talk about like having that shadow side. Mm-hmm. You know, and Jordan had it. Uh, Kobe had it. Tiger has it. Oh yeah. Right. And uh, I think like that kind of gets some people don't understand it. Right. Like they don't understand how to flip that switch. Mm-hmm. They don't even know if they have a, have a switch, you know, but when you're in a competitive space like that, you're playing with some of the best golfers in the world. You have to have that edge. You have to have that piece of you that you can tap into. Yeah, that yeah I mean, it's definitely, you, you, you want to walk, you know, you want to walk onto the course that day and go, you know, hey, there's no one here that can beat me. Exactly. You know, yeah. whether it's, you know, Tiger Woods. Yeah, yeah, it's like, you yeah. know, if I walk on the course with Tiger, it's like, am I, you know, even I know he's Tiger. Right. You know, it's like a, I know what the result might be at the end of this round, most right. likely. Yeah. But it's still like, okay, I, you know, it's still me. I've put right. in the work. I, I got to believe in myself because right. I know he believes in himself. Right, right. You know, he's looking at me going, this, he's got no chance. You know? <laughs> yeah, right. It's like, I got to, you know. <laughs> and Anybody's if you still and got if two you arms and two that, legs yeah, just like, like you. Yeah, you, if you, you know, just think that for a second, you're done. You know, and that's you're any cooked. sport. True. You know, if you think basketball, you think, you know, Oh, this person can't guard me, or you know, I can't guard this person. Right. You know, that's why my like I said, I couldn't, I couldn't guard anybody. You know, uh, couldn't guard a chair. Oh, God. <laughs> you could guard I couldn't a chair. guard a shadow. I mean, <laughs> Man. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's golf. I think too is it's tough. You know, to kind of have that like the Mamba mentality. Yeah. You know, it's like golf is a weird sport where you can't. You know, you could put in all the effort. You know, and all the stuff you can and you know get a bad bounce or you know putt doesn't drop in the hole right you know basketball or you know some of those other sports like okay if i just i can just outwork this guy today i might not have my best stuff but i'll just work harder and still kind of get him right golf can be a little tricky that way because um you know you still want to you know be mentally tough like that right but like you got to have a clear mind to still make the right decision you can't try and as soon as you try trying to force stuff in golf it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Yeah. You know, you're like, oh, I'm going to hit it through these trees and out of the green. Now you hit a tree and it's going 50 yards behind you. Right. And you're like, well, now I'm really screwed. Could have just hit it out here and been fine. So it's like, right. you know, you got to find that balance. Like, okay, how hard can I try to force something mm-hmm. but still make the right decision? All right, cool. Back from the break. Cool. Back from the break. So, so my next question for you was going to be how important is um, paying attention to the elements when you're playing, like the wind – uh, does I would imagine temperature, right? Maybe yeah. it might affect the way that. Oh yeah, I mean it's play. huge. I mean first thing, um, you know, first thing I'm doing on the on the morning of a tournament when I get to the course is you know pulling up the weather app or mm-hmm. you know, I got a couple different ones. I'm checking you know wind direction, mm-hmm. um, you know wind speed, and mm-hmm. I'm, I'll write down, uh, you know, play, I know my my tee time. If I'm teeing off at like eight thirty, I'm gonna mm-hmm. write down what the what is the wind from eight thirty to nine thirty. Cause sometimes it'll change, you know, mm-hmm. speed or even a little direction. Mm-hmm. So I know by the time I get to this hole, the wind might be this direction, or um, you know, it might be blowing harder, it might be getting calmer. Right, um, right, right. So that's you know that's first thing I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, because that kind of that'll help me. And I'll, I even really know that during the week, like hey, I know Friday, the wind's going to change direction. It's going to come out of this way. So this course is going to play differently. That's why in the practice round before an event. You know, I'm writing down, you know, I might hit this club, might hit this mm-hmm. club if the wind's this way. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, 
the temperature, you know, that's cold out like it is right now, mm -hmm. you know, ball doesn't go quite as far. So, mm -hmm. you know, you know, you just, you know that from just playing a lot. Mm -hmm. um, when it gets hotter, ball goes a little farther. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, then you, you could play out in some of like Colorado, mm -hmm. you know, altitude, ball mm -hmm. goes a lot farther. True, yeah. You know, if you're down in Florida, like sea level, you know, ball doesn't go, you know, quite as far. Mm -hmm. And you're not, I mean, it's not, at Colorado, it can go a lot farther, but, you know, sea level would be a couple yards, but, you know, those guys, PGA Tour and stuff, I mean, a couple yards, you know, is the difference between winning, finishing mm -hmm. second, mm -hmm. or finishing second and, you know, missing the cut and not making any money that week. Right, right, um, right. Do you have, uh, like, a pregame routine? That you always have to kind of go through, yeah. Outside of outside of everything you just mentioned, yeah. I mean, um, you know, I got back. I'm started getting back into working out. Um, you know, I had some back problems the last like year or so, um, probably from a lack of working out. <laughs> uh, but you know, so now in the morning, you know, I wake up, you know, a couple hours from you know my tea time, whatever, and I'm gonna go down to the you know the gym in the hotel mm -hmm. and do some sort of a warm up you know a dynamic warm up where i'm just trying to get the muscles going yeah get, get a, maybe a little not you know you're not in there bench pressing 300 right. or something. right 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 yeah, yeah, uh, yeah just something to get the blood flowing wake you up a little bit get some sweat going and then i'll you know shower get changed breakfast and i like to be at the course in about you know hour 15 before i tee off and you know then i start you know on the putting green first trying to get the speed of the greens that day mm uh, for you know 10 minutes or so then you go to the range warm up kind of see what you know what kind of shots i'm hitting that day mm -hmm. maybe you know if it you know, if i know i'm hitting everything in the direction i'm looking or maybe you're not try to you know just try to find something to get you through that day right right then you right, go back right. to the uh chipping green mm -hmm. a couple chips back to the putting green a couple putt uh, when i come back right before i tee off i like to hit the short putt so i see the ball going to the hole right you, know, you want to hear right. that sound yeah and uh and then you know you walk over the tee and you know and let it go and how, how many years do you think you have left or what or what's the what's the plan like five to ten years out uh hopefully you know five to ten years be playing the pga tour and um you know maybe I don't want to say 10 years be, you know, be great. If 10 years, if I had a great 10 year run on the PGA tour, I could look at, you know, 42 being like, you guys have fun. I've got my <laughs> nest egg, you know, yeah, but yeah. I mean, golf's a sport you can play for life. You know, then you got, sure. you know, you got the senior tour where guys, it's 50 and above. Um, oh, so can, dang. I didn't know that. Yeah. Senior, NBA needs to do that. Senior NBA. <laughs> no, nah, I don't think we want to no, watch a lot that, of, man. a lot you of liability in that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't think you want to watch You're breaking that. hips. Over yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it might literally break an ankle, um, <laughs> but you know, it's like, it's a, it's a tough, uh, you know, thinking like, okay, how many, how many years do I have left or how long do I want to keep trying? It's like, I try not to think of it that way. Um, I just try to look at it, you know, at the end of each year, like, did I get better? You know, am I getting closer to, you know, the ultimate goal? And, you know, I, I felt like that, you know you know the last few years especially and i've had a couple uh you know the best years of my career and so it's like okay well you know, i'm too close now to to walk away it's like i right. gotta gotta keep going yeah um yeah and I, and I don't think you would be able to forgive yourself if you stopped now no you know you'd look back later on down the road like man why didn't i just plow yeah. through it and that's something we've discussed before too is like it's kind of how you know you're 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 headed in the right direction when you can feel that you're like, there's a little bit of adversity, mm -hmm. you know, and you just kind of got to push through that ceiling. But, uh, that's, that's something every athlete deals with. I mean, I think that's something even entrepreneurs deal with. Yep. Um, yep. and it's just something that comes with life. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely, it's a, it's definitely a tough decision. Anything when you're trying to do, trying to achieve a goal, mm -hmm. it's like, you know, how close are you really? You right. Know, or, you know, it's like I've been pretty close to walking away. Right. Um, and I've been, that's a, and I told some of my friends, I'm like, hey, I've been, I've been real close to giving it up and saying, hey, thanks for everything. And I've mm -hmm. been close to, you know, changing my life and right. really getting to the next level. It's like, right. it's razor thin. Right, right, right. Cause and it's just, it's swings, right? Yeah, like you're talking be, three to you know, five swings. Well, yeah, it could be if one that, shot yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, a, you know, I could go back, you know, last year and say okay if i took one 
one shot off of each round that's four shots over a tournament like what happens with those four you know could change your life yeah um, that, and that's the crazy thing with golf too is one week can change your life you know, there's guys uh, out on the PGA Tour this year that uh, made it through like the open qualifier they have on Mondays mm-hmm. played great all week finish you know fourth place make four or five hundred thousand in, in one week yeah and it's like okay well I'm a, I might keep trying for a little while oh, if that's, yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> no, you'll you know, do it what, you know one yeah. one day and then four days I mean you will it's uh our next our next one will be wherever uh bryce is at we might be in yeah well, we're yeah. gonna fly in i don't know what whatever as as golf course we're gonna- <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah just not newark man yeah. Yeah. Newark. Well, anywhere anywhere south Any- anywhere that's got palm trees that's yeah, yeah. That's or if you're goal. playing overseas too man yeah. you know yeah, we'll just fly us out we'll we'll, yeah, yeah, man, we'll i gotta yeah, i gotta we'll go to here. like i said i gotta go to canada uh i gotta go out to vancouver which i'm excited about out out western canada here it's beautiful out there so you know, and that's what's been fun. It's like I've, the last year, I've really gotten to to travel a little bit. I would like to look into going overseas and trying mm-hmm. to do some of the terms over there. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, went to Panama last year, mm-hmm. um, which was kind of really my first time, like truly out of the country. Like I've been to Canada before, mm-hmm. like Mexico on a cruise, but it's like you're with the, you know, it's not right, really, right, right. You know, right, you're at right. the designated spot on the cruise where, you know, so. Uh, but Panama was fun. Um, Saw the Panama Canal, which I think was mind blowing. It, it was like it, it was for like kind of almost how simple I thought right. it really was. Like I thought it was gonna be this huge complicated thing, which it right. kind of is. But I mean, it's it's pretty small, and you got these huge ships that come through. And it's like you could reach out and touch it, right? You know, and they're just you know they lower one side, the ship goes up, goes out. The yeah. other, and then the other ship comes in the next lane. They come down. I mean, like we, my dad and I sat there for like two hours just watching these just ships amazed, just yeah. coming through and i'm <laughs> yeah. like you know it's one of the i think they like one of the seven like modern wonders yeah of the, you know yeah um and that's but, pretty cool too man like you know that golf has been able to give you these experiences yeah. and then you've been able to travel you know and you get to still play and do something that you love in the process mm-hmm. of it right you know yeah, not I mean, a lot of people get that no, you know no. yeah. when it comes to their job or their career like they're just they're st- not i don't want to say stuck where they're at but like you know you get to go globally in yeah sense. and that's like you know on the days where you know it gets tough where you have you know you have a bad stretch of golf it's like you gotta remind yourself okay hey i'm i'm in a place i've never been yep um and you know it's still you just kind of enjoy it you right know, that's what i think it when i first turned pro you know i, I cared so much about playing well and trying to kind of you know prove to myself and you know maybe others around me that were kind of probably like why are you turning pro right you know right and so it's like i wanted to prove like hey i'm doing i'm playing well i'm making some money yeah i want to you know it's worth it right you know it's like now as i've kind of gotten older i'm kind of at the same like you know if i play bad and we're if we're in a cool city or something it's like still got to get out like it doesn't matter what happened i got some let me let's go explore the city a little bit you know it's like it's not the end all be all because you had no. a bad round like i yep. said you know golf is a sport where it's the only sport i ever played but it makes you question who you are right. <laughs> right. Right. Like, right 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 you know you're, wa- you're walking through the streets of of uh of miami florida looking like eeyore yeah you yeah. know yeah. after yeah. i wonder if this guy after knows that I just, you know i, I just I, I played bad today and this you know there's some person out there that couldn't care less yep. you know yeah. No, and yeah. uh so yeah, definitely. You know, that's why I'm looking forward to going up to Canada. I want to. There's a. I think some of the events you can get kind of near Banff. You know, I've dope. always wanted to see that. Dope, I've always dope. seen pictures of it online. I'm like, I want to yeah. see that in person. So yeah. it looks fake. You know? Yeah. And yeah. so, you know, try to, you know, soak it all in because, like I said, sure. I mean, life is short. You know, a, a playing career could be short. You never know what you know could be an injury, or something like that. You know, you never know. So it's like you don't want to look no. back and go, wow, I didn't. Why didn't I take advantage of that when I was yep. there? No, um, yeah, man, it makes sense. So, so that's how I felt. So the older I get, yeah. I'm like, gotta enjoy this for sure. For so sure. I got, I got, a, I got a question for you for like, because we've we've noticed we got on TikTok, we got like some younger athletes, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But I kind of know the answer to this question at least by talking to you right now. Has so your road from when you started golf to now being a pro, you've obviously missed a lot. You mm-hmm. talked about you know your friend's wedding yeah. and stuff like that. Um, for the young athletes coming up, has it been worth it, uh, you know, to miss all that stuff 
to be to get where you're at and like does it bother you from time to time maybe when you're on the plane or you're just sitting i mean i, I imagine you kind of spend a lot of time by yourself oh, yeah, sometimes yeah. does it does it hit you at, at those moments and then if it does i guess there's a bunch of questions in but can you just like touch yeah, on I mean, that a little bit you know it's definitely it's it's kind of like you know two-part and it's like half of me is like yeah absolutely i'd, I'd right. do it all you know right do it all i'll over do again. it all over again yeah and i was i was i had to stand in a couple of my buddies weddings two years ago and they're like hey you better not miss this for golf i'm like i'll i don't <laughs> think i won't you know if it if it's something if it's a big tournament so i gotta go i gotta go yeah you know? sure um i love you i'm not right. doing it to spite you but right. it's like right. this is what i'm and i've already i've made these sacrifices for years it's like right you know like i said I, i'm close i'm I'm too close to walk away from it. Right. You know, it's like I've made all these sacrifices. I might as well yeah. make it, yeah. make it all worth it. But, you know, you definitely, you know, you've, there's, you know, you're, I'm human. So like you feel bad. Like I want to be there as, you know, whether it's, you know, family, right. Um, you know, my boys that I grew up with or something. It's like, yeah. you know, I, I love them. I want to, you know, it's, I'm not, I feel bad for not being there. Um, you know, cause I like, you know, I've always liked seeing my friends do well and, want to be there for their their big moments for sure um for sure but is that that so is that is that is that the cost of getting to where you're at because it could you have gone back and been like oh i can miss this tournament or i can miss that one too or is or is that the price you have to pay is you have to kind of be you know like hey if i gotta go if i got this tournament if i gotta practice i'm sorry but i gotta i gotta miss it yeah i I mean i think if you want to you know you want to get to that level i think it is the price yeah. Um, and then I think how you can, you know, reconcile that with your within yourself mm-hmm. is going to kind of be a determining factor of right. you know, if you can like at one of the, uh, my friend's weddings, the one I was standing in, one of them, um, I, I flew home. I had a 7 a.m. flight Sunday morning after the wedding to come back. You know, like I was back here at Aurora on the range. By the time some of my buddies were waking up after the wedding, cause I, had a, wow. I was leaving the next week for a, a big wow. Dang. potentially career changing tournament yeah um so it's like hey i gotta do it i'm gonna come up here two days do what i gotta do for you and then i gotta and then it's that back amount. um you know and and that i ended up making i made it through that tournament and so it, there you know, okay there's the now it's worth it right you know and you know i did I, like i said i'd do it all over again yeah and you know, i love them but hey you, know. you got to sacrifice. You got to yeah. sacrifice, man. And, and golf is like one of those sports where almost similar like boxing too. You don't have a team, no. right? Like it's just mm-hmm. you. So right. the the pressure is different, right? And in a, in, a, in a team sport, you could take a a game off, right? And maybe rely on your teammate because mm-hmm. your teammate gets hot or whatever, whatever yeah. the case is, right? And you can do other things in the game to kind of alleviate some of the pressure, right? But like in the sport that you're in. Man, you 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 have to remain dialed in, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, like you have, you know, even boxing is like you have that team around you. But once you get in there, it's just you, know, you. They're not taking that punch for you. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're gushing blood, and they're not like, hey, let me hit me this time. Right. Um, and right. so it's like I got my kind of you know you hear the golfers, especially in the PGA Tour, uh, you know, all oh, my team, we you know a great game plan for the week. It's mm-hmm. like they're talking about like their coaches. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, nutritionist, strength mm-hmm. coach, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. agent, every, you know, so right, you got right, a team, right. but like, right. like you said, it's like once you get on that first tee, it's you. Yep. And, um, you know, so it's like, you know, talk about pressure. I think one thing I've kind of learned as I've gotten older, older is like, it's not, you know, there, it's pressure, but it's not like real pressure. You know? Right. Like there's, I, I could be doing a lot worse. True. Out doing something I love. True. You know, healthy. You know, true. There's, there's people, you know, really struggling to do some stuff. It's true. So it's like, that's another, you got, okay, kind of remind yourself. Like, I, I got pressure. But it's like self-inflicted. Right. Like I put in the time. Right. I put in the right. work. I I want to do well. I demand of myself that I do well. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the end of the day, it's, you know, it's still a game. Yep. And I think that that, I think when I've kind of realized that the last couple of years, that's kind of helped me, you know, yeah. get better, uh, in its own way. Cause it's right. Like, okay, you realize that this is not the end all be all. True. How you play doesn't define who you are. True. Um, 
you know, I still, like I said, I expect myself to play well because I've put in the time and the work. Right. So you want to get rewarded for it. But, you know, Kobe didn't score 82 every game. You know, there's games, that, you know, so it's like, you know, there's going to be days where you're just off. You know? True. It's not yeah, your true. day. Yeah, and true. How do you how do you bounce back from those? I think, you know, that's, you know, kind of the common theme. It's like that's that self-belief. It's like, okay, hey, I know bad rounds are going to happen, bad shots are going to happen. I'm going to have a bad stretch of holes. Um, but you just know, okay, hey, they're out of the way. So now, uh, you know, the flaw of averages, like I got, you know, yeah. I'll, I'll have terms where I'm like, man, I've missed a couple of short putts in a row. I'm like, well, I know over the course of 100 of those, I'm, I'm going to make 98 of them. So right. I've missed them, so now here comes the 98. And it's just like, uh, you know, you got to believe that. Right. Yeah, whether or not, like, you know, inside you might be going, like, uh, I'm going to say this, right. but I'm, uh, I'm freaking out inside. I might not make that one. But right. it's like now I just, you know, you know, you know, your your time is coming. When you when you had your best game that you can think of, did it feel like you were in that flow state? Yeah. I mean, like any time, you know, you have, you know, if I have, like, a really good round or something, mm-hmm. it's like – you think about it afterwards like what was i doing it's like what was i doing differently you're like man, i can't really remember anything right you just just weren't even present you yeah yeah. it's like an out-of-body experience yeah it's like i don't know why you know every putt fell in that day or like every shot i hit was going right at the flag Mm -hmm. it's like well what well was i doing something in my swing it's like like i can't i can't remember anything right you know right it was just just all instinct yeah Yeah. it's like um do you you record any of your uh of your um, I don't want to call it a game, but that's like basketball. You record. Yeah, no, that's I, mean, like, saying, I, I keep saying, saying games. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. but do you record any of like your tournaments or whatever? You yeah, oh, yeah. Play? I mean, I got you know, I'll, and throughout the uh, even during the round, I'm recording stats. But yeah. not like like when you talk about like that out of body experience. Like if you would have recorded that, like with a camera tur- tournament. Yeah, like would you? Yeah. Would I mean, you I'm been like, oh, that's what I did. You right. know, like that's yeah. what I figured out. I, w- I mean. I, I haven't played too many tournaments where there, you know, at least maybe there was a camera crew there that was recording anyway. That would be nice to be like, hey, can I get that footage and kind of walk, you know, watch yeah. that back? You know? <laughs> yeah, true, true, true. We're still working towards that. But uh, I know the one, like, I want to get, uh, I've been thinking about getting one of those, like, whoop bands. Mm, you, know, like you see, okay. like, a lot, of, a lot of golfers are wearing those, mm-hmm. and that, like, measures, you can see, like, like spike in your heart rate. And, mm-hmm. like, okay, what, you know, then I can kind of go back, hey, uh, this jumped, yeah. and this and all, oh, that was because of this shot, or. You know, this hole kind of scared me. And like, obviously, uh-huh. now you can start to see the data going. Yeah. Okay, well, and then, you know, you can analyze that data and go, hey, well, what can I do uh, differently? You know, there was one of the uh, – I remember one of the PGA Tour players years ago, maybe four, five, six years ago. He had some – this is probably almost extreme, but he had, like, this device – uh, that would measure his like his brain power or something, and it's like when he was like, oh, it was, it was, like but he was he would watch movies, <laughs> oh, and wow. the movie would shut off if his like heart rate or something got too high. So huh. he had to like he was tr- trying to train himself to keep his you know so watch yeah. like a scary movie, yeah, and keep oh, your heart man. rate, yeah, yeah, you know. And I'm like, I, that, I'm like that's next level, right? Yeah, yeah. that is next I mean, level. I wish I had the cash to like go out and get that device, but I'm like, that, that's might be. <laughs> You know, I can't. Conf- I might confuse myself too. Yeah, if I, yeah. You know, yeah. Dang, wow. I can't, wow. If I give myself too much, it, it, the wheel starts getting spinning too quick, and oh, bad things might happen. No, know. true, 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 true. I got a good question, man. So, like, when you when you when you show up for a tournament, right, mm-hmm. and you see your your competition, are there mind games that players play on each other to try and get in each other's heads? Um. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, you can. You know, you, you definitely see people that are. You know, walking around, chest out. Yeah, peacocking. Know. Yeah, like, like you know, and that's you know, like I said, it's that self belief. Like, right. They're looking right. like you guys got no chance today. Right. You know, I'm All the right. best player here. Right. And it doesn't matter if they go out and prove it that day or not. It's like right. That's just that belief. Now, um, now, have you played better when someone's kind of talked trash or? Yeah, I mean, there's times, you know, if I uh, somebody kind of, you know, does something. You know, it kind of piss you off. It's like, okay, like you want, you know, you're gonna you're gonna catch the horns here, right, now. right, and, right, right. Uh, you know, that, I think that's like from growing up playing basketball. Mm-hmm. It's like someone, you know, talks trash to you or something. Mm-hmm. And you know, golf, 
doesn't really – I wish golf maybe had a little more of that, something like mm-hmm. you could get these guys mic'd up and they're out there chirping like hockey or basketball. <laughs> yeah. I think it would be yeah. pretty funny. But yeah. Yeah. It would. It it's, would. Uh, golf is, is too much of a gentleman's sport. Right, you know, right, that's right. That's what right, they right. say. And, well, uh, when Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers were on the were on the were on the uh, right. the course, man, they were going at it. That was hilarious. Yeah, I mean, and so Charles yeah, that's, that's entertaining. Yeah. For the it is. Also. It is. Um, yeah, I mean, I've never really had, especially in a tournament. Uh, there's still that level of respect where it's like, hey, we all know how hard this game is. True. Yeah, true. Um, and I've haven't had somebody in a, at least that I can remember in a tournament tournament that's like, you know you suck or something like okay well now i'll, I'll show you right you know, something you have you know maybe play more with buddies sometimes they're like right you know they're, they're thinking they're all right you know they're good it's like okay i gotta remind you that you still got yeah. a ways to go yeah yeah um, but uh no nah, i mean you know like like i said that's from growing up playing those other sports you kind of yeah. learn like i mean I, there was stuff i heard playing on the playground in middle school that like i'm like there's nothing somebody on the golf course is going to say to me that's going to hurt my feelings or right you know right. make me get scared that i didn't hear in sixth grade or something right you know mm-hmm. right, right. Had long floppy hair <laughs> i got the kids would just shred me right, you know, right look right, at you right, like, right, right so uh what was the uh best uh piece of advice another pro golfer gave you uh I mean, I, I get a, probably a couple. I mean, I, I think some of the best advice I got uh, playing in a tournament my second year as a pro down it was this big qualifier, and uh, I I was kind of coming off an injury, so I wasn't really quite ready for it, and I wasn't ready for this tournament mentally. I shouldn't have really shouldn't have been playing mm-hmm. in it. Um, wasn't quite good enough to make it out of it. We're playing this tournament. I'm in like. So we're in the third round. I'm, I'm the second group off. Once, if you're the second group off after the first two rounds, that's not good. You don't want to be the last. You know, that's the leaders. Leaders deal with last. You know, worst to first. Gosh. And uh, so I'm in the second group. We're teeing off at dark, which is also not a good idea. You know, if you're teeing off and the sun's coming up, you're also not playing well. <laughs> and, uh, but I was struggling to hit driver, and I didn't. So I was hitting, I'd hit any other club off the tee but driver. Uh-huh. So after the round, play with this guy. We're having lunch. He's like, uh, he's like, I sit, you know, sit down with him. I'm like, yeah, we just played, you know. And then uh, he's like, can I tell you something? I'm like, yeah. He's like, yes, stop being such a fucking pussy and hit that driver. <laughs> there you go. I'm there like, there go. you go. There you yeah, go. He, he rang the bell. Yeah. Woke I'm you like, up. I'm like, wow. He's like, well, I don't know where it's going, right? Right, and right, right. He's like, he goes, you're not going to learn how to hit driver straight by hitting four iron. And I'm like, that's a good idea you know a good point now mm-hmm. you know <laughs> driver's kind of one of the best clubs in my bag <laughs> yeah. yeah and you know i'm like i'd still you know that's one of my favorite stories this guy you know just I've, I've known him for five hours and he's just yeah. like you got to hit you know don't be a, you can't be afraid to hit this club no it's true if you're afraid to hit this club you got no chance it's true you it's know? true it's like tiger woods and these guys they're not afraid to hit that club no uh-uh. you know they'll, yeah. you ask them you know not only can they hit that fairway they'll you know pick a leaf on that tree in the distance they'll hit it right at you know that's how they believe i'm like i did at that point i'm like i i didn't think i could keep it on the property true let alone hit the fairway which that that kind of leads into like having like a like a coach or a mentor right because like he obviously saw something in you Mm -hmm. when you were swinging where he's like okay this he's not he's not giving it 100 percent, or he's not Mm -hmm. he's not fully locked in right yeah do you have like a coach or a mentor that you go to i mean you got definitely you know coaches or even just you know kind of people over the years or um you know like my dad you know one of my favorite things he told me um as a kid growing up is like, hey don't you know don't brag or anything he's like and he told me if you're if you're good you could tell people but if you're great they'll tell you yeah you know i so, like that yeah that's great i like that's, that you know that's why i've always tried to you know live by that like i can you know we could sit here for you know Maybe not too long. I don't have I don't got too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My, you know, if I really wanted to talk yeah. about everything I've done, it might right. take five minutes. But, right. You know, it's right, like right. I could sit here and talk about it. But, right. You know, if I if I'm great, then you know that everyone would know about it. Yep. So that's what kind of right. keeps me motivated. It's like okay, if I got to walk in to dinner with my buddies and tell them everything I've just done. Right. 
you know, I'm not good enough yet. Right. Yeah. If I walk yeah. in and they're going, hey, heard you did this, this, it's like, okay, now. So that's that's the motivation. It's like what I got to, you know, like I said, I got to get back to work and keep going. Yeah, I like that, yeah. man. So as as we get towards the end, we got a few minutes left. What's the, uh, do you have any last piece of advice for young athletes who are trying to go on the road that you took, get to yeah. the pro level? Um, like I said, I think number one, you got to enjoy it. You got to love the process of trying to get better and know that, you know, it's not always going to be a straight line. It's going to be, might be three steps back, one step forward. You know, then all of a sudden one day it might be one step and five steps forward. You know, so it's like you got to, you know, don't get discouraged when, you know, things kind of get bad and just believe that, you know, if I'm going to work through this, I'm going to keep getting better. Um, you know, if, if it was easy, everyone would do it, right? Yeah. You know, right. so agree with that. you got to be able to, to have the discipline to get out there and grind and, and work your ass off. You no, know, that's, that's what true. if you want to, you know. Nobody that is in at the highest level of any sport or anything in business, whatever, would tell you, "Oh, yeah, I didn't. I did the bare minimum right. to get there." Yeah, that's true. You know, that's true. They, no, that's true. They, you know, whatever. You know, guys. You know, you're like Elon. These guys getting up at like 4 a.m. and doing stuff, yeah. sleeping four hours. I mean, I I can't do that. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, I could not. You know, I need. No you know, let me get at least like six or seven. Right, 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 right. right, right. right. But yeah, it's like you gotta you gotta love the process and the love the grind. That's yeah. what. You know, one of my coaches that said, he's like, you, get, you know, if you don't love the process, yep. you know, that, that's, 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 that's everything. That's yep. more than half the battle. No, it is. It is, yep. man. It is. Yeah. Well, hit it. We appreciate you, man. This yeah. was a this was a great episode. This was, man. This was. I learned a lot, too, because, uh, yeah. you know, I've been around a lot of athletes, but um, never had the chance to, like, talk with a pro athlete kind of <laughs> did, did you know mm-hmm. dig into their mind because it's a totally different level yeah, you know I, what mm-hmm. i'm saying so mm-hmm. i appreciate you guys you know wanting to have me on and for sure I'm, man i'm glad it worked out and for sure um you know anytime you guys need anything i'll i'll, I'll do it you know appreciate, appreciate it bryce well, yeah. and thank you again man for letting us shoot here man and i don't know yeah. i don't know what you had to do to, to make this happen <laughs> uh, you, hey, know, you know this is make this a few is, phone calls like I said, you know this is rural crunch clubs where i grew up it's my yeah home. it's where i learned to play the game with my yeah. dad yeah. So this um, is this has always been a very special place to me. Which is kind of cool, man. A full circle, yeah. full circle it's moment, you know, to be able moment. to do this. So yeah, yeah, yeah man. Great. Thank you again to well, the guys with that the, outro Aurora. puzzle. All right, sounds good, yeah. man. Thank you to the Aurora Country Club for letting us shoot here. Thank you to Bryce Emery, our friend. You know, yeah. and by the way, I also cut his hair. You yeah. know, so uh, also, if there's any problems. Note, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know, his haircut looks me. messed up. It's it's my fault. You know, but uh, thank you guys, man, for tuning in, for watching, for listening, and we'll catch you guys on the next episode. As always, peace, peace.